Hi, Dave Roscoe here. I hear a lot of words like claimed and so-called when referring to the credentials of the Pi Network founders, Dr. Nicholas Kokolis and Dr. Cheng Diao Fan. There is nothing claimed or so-called about it. People who say this fall under three categories. The lazy and the ignorant, who parrot others and are unwilling to verify for themselves, or those that thrive on spreading negativity and doubt. Market manipulators, who use these words as a calculated move to cast doubt, while carefully avoiding defamation. And disgruntled traders, who missed out on the early opportunity to participate in Pi, or fell victim to fraud or scam and are now disillusioned by their own mistakes, or those who were unhappy about the lack of immediate wealth. In this video, I'm going to provide proof of the educational pedigree of the founders. And you can refer anyone who says otherwise to this video. But first, let's take a look at the metrics from the last 24 hours. The current circulating supply is 6.773 billion. Again, they, it looks the same as every other day, but the difference is in the noise here. Um, we're up 21,000 from the last 24 hours with locked migration down 793,000 and unlocked migrations up 814,000, which indicates that only 21,000 pi was migrated in the last 24 hours. Let's take a look at the price action. The current price of the Pi coin is 70 cents. As you can see, it's been on a rather steady downward trend, and that's to be expected. We're on a limited number of exchanges that are relatively small, and we have a constant flow of new Pi coming in. So that's going to happen. I going to reiterate that I don't think that's a problem right now, unless your goal is to sell pie. The market volume is 274 million, uh, which is up 71% from the last 24 hours. Not surprising, the weekend is over and the markets are open and that results in an inflow of institutional cash and trading volume goes up. And let's take a look at the current ranking of Pi, which is sitting at 26 currently. So we continue to fall in the rankings, uh, still within the top 50, but a far cry from our 11th spot, which we occupied not that long ago. So let's talk about our founders. Dr. Cheng Diao Fan's academic credentials are somewhat opaque, and the reasons for that are unknown. Uh, it may be due to her desire for privacy of her academic history, but it's not uncommon. Academics will often only list the relevant education that applies to their current career, but we can glean some information about a possible uh, educational history from her past. From her dissertation, there is some indication that she may perhaps have a Master of Science degree in teaching from Da Qi University in Taiwan. This again is speculation because uh, she mentions a woman in her dissertation and her journey for getting this uh, degree in modern Taiwan. But we know for certain that she does have a Doctor of Philosophy degree from Stanford University in Anthropological Sciences. And this is without question, and I'll show you the proof of that later. While her education is unknown, Stanford does not admit unqualified people into their PhD programs. She has the credentials, but chooses to keep them private, but her PhD is in no doubt. So let's go back to our web view and take a look. This is Dr. Fan's dissertation, which she submitted at Stanford University on September 2014. Now, you'll notice that it's for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, and that is a catch-all. If it's a research doctorate, it's always under the 
umbrella of philosophy. So here you can see that she submitted this thesis in September 2014. And typically, once this is submitted, the PhD review board will go through its process and award the PhD within a few months. So the question of her PhD is not a question. Now let's take a look at Dr. Nicholas Kokolis. Dr. Kokolis has a Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Engineering from the University of Crete in Greece. He's got a Master of Science degree in Computer Engineering at the University of Toronto in Canada. He's got a Master of Science degree in Management from Stanford University in the US. And finally, he's got a Doctor of Philosophy degree in Electrical Engineering also from Stanford University. And if we take a look at the web view here, you can see Dr. Nicholas Kokolis's thesis that was presented on June 2013. And as I mentioned previously, once this is submitted, the award of PhD typically takes a few months at most. Again, there is no question that the founders of the Pi Network are who they say they are, at least from an academic perspective. So when you hear things like so-called and claimed, realize where it could be coming from and take it for what it is. The Pi Network is run by two very qualified people, and we have to believe that they understand and know what they're doing. So be patient, don't panic, and remember, the success of Pi Network begins with you. Pi to the moon. Peace.